Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Brave Paradise. Uh, yeah, last time we were moving boulders, or at, at least Rex was. We were just, you know, grabbing grabbing sh from under the boulder. Very, very safe, very safe. Uh, anyway, um, you up off your hands on your pants. The cut was truly shallow and doesn't bleed much. Rex carefully picks up the stone as he makes his way around the boulder and passes it over to you as you push yourself up from your knees. You lean against the large boulder together and reveal your newfound treasure. The stone had a large red emblem smeared on the middle with a dried liquid substance that was lightly pulsating. Time for first contract. Contact. Fuck. <laughs> contract. Con contact. Con contact. contact. <laughs> <laughs> Time for first contact. Keep it together. Yeah. Hello? Oh, sh The voice really is coming from the stone. Do you hear it? The f are you what? Can I have some? I don't, but that's definitely a visation stone. It is? Yeah, no doubt about it. So, I'm probably not hearing a staff member or something like that. No, you're speaking to someone who died. A drifter. Someone dead? A shiver shoots down your spine as you become more aware of your situation. Yikes, that's kind of creepy. Rude. Even creepy if you think about where we are. Yeah, a remote island in the middle of nowhere. How'd you even get here? Are, are you part of the show? No. Baka. Well, they're not part of the show. Duh. Were you stranded here? Purposefully. Uh, they said purposefully. Yeah, I really don't like this kind of stuff. This is like horror movie stuff. Yeah, I hate that kind of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. I can't watch horror movies either. <laughs> they keep me up at night. Yeah. I had an ex once that kept forcing me to watch them because he loved when I screamed like a little baby at the jump scares. Wow, oh. that's a fucking asshole. <laughs> I can't imagine why. I would laugh at him. I'm not gonna deny that it was great entertainment, probably. But that's just abusive, right? Cruel and unusual. Pardon? Ah, oh, sorry, we're getting off topic. So, are they speaking in full sentences or just a couple words? They're speaking in Rempy prompts. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only one word at a time. Hmm. Either they're reaching that time, or it's the damage on the stone itself. It was probably smashed underneath the boulder. I can see cracks on the stone itself, and the ruin is smeared. The Vesation stone certainly wasn't in the best shape, but it didn't seem to have been caused by the boulder as we thought. Yeah, it's caused by you fucking throwing it. Yep. The cracks and chips were new due to a certain scaredy cat. Scared, scared cat. Scaredy cat. Scaredy cat. Scaredy cat. Yes. So, it's like speaking into a broken phone. They have phones in this world? Gotcha. But what about the drifter itself? The stone doesn't impact the drifter themselves. It's not like they're chained to the Zation stones. You're not chained to your phone. Right? Well, I could argue that one, but I know what you mean. So the drifter is just floating around or something? Just like every other drifter. Fading. Waiting. Watching. Watching you while you pee. Observing. Oh god, stop. That's really creepy. Last thing we need is two weeks on a haunted island. This music really doesn't fit this scene, does it? <laughs> if that's your logic, all of Delterra is haunted. So you're fine if the drifter watches you pee in the woods? I mean, I'm into exhibitionism. I mean, I don't really care. They can't do anything to me. Of course you are, Ash. I'm actually not. <laughs> Insert edit somewhere. I'm actually into exhibitionism. <laughs> See, I knew it. Wait. I knew you were. And all serious as though I'm actually into exhibitionism. <laughs> God damn it, Shin! Rex help you stand up by extending you a hand and then proceeds to brush the dirt off his knees. You better pee in the ocean, does not it? Just shadows. I'm not really bothered. I'm sure plenty of drifters have seen you pee before, too. Now there's a thought that I'll never get out of my head. <laughs> Thanks. Hate to break it to you, but your private privacy was probably compromised a long time ago. So, what do you think we should do with this foyer anyway? Well, if they're still around, maybe they're resisting the drift. Maybe they have some unresolved business. We should help them while we're here. What? Why? We're not exactly here on vacation. I mean, I mean, not totally. I just don't like the thought of dying with regret. Indeed. 
Yeah, I don't like the sound of that either. But what are we even supposed to do? How should I know? Ask them. You're the one that's connected with them. I can't hear them. Just tell them what they need. Yeah, you heard the man. How can we help? <laughs> <laughs> well then, time for a Drito. Strip. <laughs> okay. Actually, he's already leaving us. He just needed some air. Really? <laughs> joking, joking, joking. JK! Uh-huh, sure. Wait, you better get talking then. Air? Air. Actually, yeah. Uh, he wanted to have fresh air again. <laughs> <laughs> Drifters don't need air. Inheritance. Inheritance. That they meant the other kind of air, like H E I R kind of air. Oh, yes, duh. So we need to find someone to inherit something, and then you'll peace out. Fortune. <laughs> Why am I like this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying he's a gold digger. <laughs> Yo, he said he's got money! <laughs> Will anyone inheriting it satisfy you? <laughs> Say it. I want to raise. Say it. <laughs> yeah, can you be my sugar daddy? Tempting. <laughs> tempting. <laughs> <laughs> he's attempting. Emilio, <laughs> you're not helping. Worthy. Worthy? They don't have to be like a long lost descendant of any uh, or any of that crap. Do you have any descendants you would like to pass it down to? No. No, I guess not. Lucky us. Depends. Where's the money, bitch? Pull out the world. clock. <laughs> hidden. H hidden? Uh, on this island? So they got stranded with their fortune. Do you think this used to be a private estate? Ah, man, I don't know. I don't even know how we're having this conversation. <laughs> Should I think you start having duct tape by your desk? Just so then you can put it on Jake's mouth. She should do the same for you as well. Not. Hey, he has server mute for me. Just put it on my face. On my what lips, about. What are you talking about, Jake's mouth? He said something about. I don't... No, I said duct tape. Oh, duct tape. Okay. Duct tape. Not duct tape. tape. Not duct tape. <laughs> Bound. I don't understand. What did they say? Something about being bound? Blood. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. I'm not... The cut. Wait, you, you know more about this than I do. I cut my hand while grabbing the stone and bled on the rune. You show him the cut skin on your other hand. You're no longer bleeding, but it's clear where the skin tore apart. Ah, uh, well that makes sense. Do you know how Visation Stones are made? Uh, not really, no. The rune is made with mage blood. Mage blood? Hence the red coloration. Mages are different than we are. They're connected to Delarima. That's why their blood is the perfect ink for Rune. Ugh. No wonder Esprit Engineering is such a big field. What do you mean? I mean, if we were using mage blood for every rune, then we'd have a lot of dead mages on our hands. Well, yeah. You're right about that. Okay, but riddle me this. I'm not a mage. You're not a mage. Right? Not in the slightest. So how come I'm able to hear them and you can't? Your blood got mixed in with the rune. The mage blood is only needed to make the rune. It's your blood that's activating the rune. That's how they work. You're essentially linking part of your physical self to them. So they can sense your emotional state and share your thoughts. All of my thoughts? Oh gods, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> only the ones you project. Correct. So only most of my privacy is just out the window. <laughs> cool. It's not as bad as you're making it out to be. Well then, why don't you come over and bleed on this thing? I can't bleed easily. One of the perks of being a gator, and a particularly tough one at that, we would need equipment to do it safely. Ah, damn you, you wonderfully thick bastard. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Trust me. 
It's just as much of a curse as it is a blessing. So congratulations. You're our medium. Yeah, nah. I'm just gonna hand this over to the staff and see what they can do. Soul tech. Yeah, I'm sure they can help you find your heir or whatever. They could even make you a new visitation stone, because I bet you're annoyed speaking only one word at a time. Refuse. What? Why? Distrust. Okay, well, like it or not, you're gonna have to work with them. What's wrong? <laughs> Something about them distrusting the staff, I don't know. What's wrong with Soltec? Entrepreneurs. That's not a good enough reason. It's not like they're gonna sell you or something. Well, maybe we don't need them. We can help them together. Find them a new heir? And where, wh why on Delterra would we do that? Milio. Have a little sympathy. What? I'm being serious here. This stuff is creepy and I have other shit to do. You have other shit to do. I would think you were for handing it to the staff. I just want to be a part of helping them. It's important to me. If you really want to be a part of helping them, just let Vladimir know you're interested. I feel like it would be into this kind of stuff. It's free content for them. Let's just pass it over and see what they say. Tried. Tried? What does that mean? Contact. Like you've already spoken with them? Correct. Okay, and then what? They decided to throw you under a bowler? Well... I'm having a hard time believing that you asked them to for help and they just threw you under a rock. Even if that was true, isn't that all the more reason for us to walk away? We're missing a whole lot of context here, it's all kind of shady. So what? We're supposed to walk away? Uh, yeah. That's exactly what we're supposed to do. I'm not walking away. Then fly! Exact- Wait, why not? If Soltec won't help them, then we're all they have. Yeah, but there has to be a reason they didn't help, right? What if Soltec is trying to cover something up? What if they led us here to use us as scapegoats? There would have been be- Nah, f off. <laughs> there wouldn't be any purpose in that. I'm staying right here, Ash. I'm not f***ing old. <laughs> <laughs> if they really had something to hide, they would have destroyed the stone. Drifters don't last longer than a few years at most anyway. Well, what if they just needed us to find the stone? They could edit any footage of us here however they wanted. They have full control here. If that's true, then we're already too deep. Whether we leave the stone or take the stone, they can portray us however they want. Ah, damn. You're right. We may as well take it with us. Relax. You're being needlessly paranoid. And you're being needlessly reckless. Emilio. What now? Unpre unpremeditated. Unpremeditated. Siri help. Uh-huh. Sure. Trust. How? How can we trust you? We don't even know who you are. I don't know how long you've been watching us, but we're not really in a position to help you out. We could even get disqualified for possessing an unofficial magical item or for harboring a drifter. But it's a risk worth taking. Don't you want someone to take care of you when you're gone? Yeah, but... And think about the circumstances here. We are clearly guided here. Someone or something was calling me. I know it. What if it was very sipte? Very dipted. I'm having a break, so I'm just reading that f***ing name. I have to yawn. on. Oh, never mind. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> How did How that happen? You? If you help me out, I'll still give you that favor. So we're getting the BJ or not? <laughs> not that kind of favor! I wonder if he can be a vibrator gator if, uh, you know, the... the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, who? And if anything happens, I'll take the blame for it. I promise. And I can ask you for any favor? Within reason. Take it or leave it. Anything? Did you have something in mind? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, stone? Yes, yes. <laughs> Dude, now is not the time. Uh, I didn't say you have something immediately. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Ah, fine. I guess if I f*** up this competition, I might as well go out in style. I'm already prepared to get sent home anyway, I guess. Are you sure? Yeah. 
It's whatever at this point. I'll do it. Hot. <laughs> I'll do the deal. This guy doesn't know how to read the scene, damn. You can just ignore them if they're if they are bothering you. Oh, I will. <laughs> they're gonna need to take a cold dip in the ocean before we start helping them. <laughs> so we have a deal then. Accept. Uh, yeah, we have a deal. I'll give it some time. Well, only for a little while. I don't want to be carrying this thing around for two weeks. Thank you. Rex puts his hand on your shoulder and warmly smiles. We share the feeling of a slight blush. It means more than you know. I have a blush on my face. S sure. Just, uh, well, I'd better think of a damn good favor for this. Uh. You know that vibrating thing that you do when you... <laughs> you name it, and we'll see what we can do. The towering gator's tense muscles relax, and his shoulders fall as a relieved sigh rumbles out of him. All right. So, you know these things better than I do. What do I need to know? Well, you have to hold on to the stone for now. They can't communicate with you if the stone is nearby. If we really can't resolve it quickly, then we'll hand it over to the staff, or I'll take care of it. Whatever seems best, I promise. Rex pats your shoulder once more, and then starts leading us back to the forest towards the nearby production site. And maybe while we're doing them a favor, they could do us a favor? Like, oh, I don't know. Find us some kind of advantage? So you're going to cheat? No. Define cheating. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> I'm not helping or letting you cheat. I'm still trying to win. I'm suitable or not. Fine, fine. I'll drop it. Hey, so you can hear my thoughts like this, right? Clearly. All right, hear me out for a sec. Spying for me doesn't make me unworthy, right? I'm just utilizing my assets, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go. As for the Vasation Stone, you tuck it gently into your pocket, making sure it is at your side, away from either spicy area. Damn. Damn, this episode has come to an end. Thank ah, you guys so much for watching. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> In fact, that took three takes. That took five <laughs> takes, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, smash a like if you liked it. Uh, one like equals one hug for Rex. I don't know. <laughs> this is going right in the description, and uh, see you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.